This video is for educational purposes only. I don't take any responsibility for damage caused by replication of experiment. Fuming nitric acid is a nitric acid whose concentration is more than 85%. The lab grade nitric acid is typical 68 to 70%. It is sufficient for most uses. Fuming nitric acid is used when a higher degree of nitration is needed. Therefore, it is used in making explosives such as TNT. It is also used as a strong oxidizer. So, we need only two chemicals, potassium nitrate and sulfuric acid. The one I have is 92% concentrated. So you can see, this is the glass setup. So in the round bottom flask, I'll be adding 101 grams of potassium nitrate. Then I'll be adding 60 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid drain cleaner. Mine is only 92% concentrated. Then I'll put the adapter back. And you can see that a brown fumes has started to build up in the flask. Water is circulated in the condenser. I placed a conical flask below the tip of the condenser. And you can see that I started heating the flask. On heating, fumes of nitric acid will go in the condenser and condense and fall in the conical flask that I have placed in an ice bath. You can see the reaction. So after some time, the fumes cleared up and we got some distillate inside the conical flask. I also insulated the flask and the adapter with some aluminium foil. This helped in distillation. When the distillate stopped coming over, I removed the heat and the aluminium foil. The brown fumes inside the flask are due to the decomposition of nitric acid. You can see that there is some nitric acid inside the condenser. So I will just pour it into the conical flask. And then place the condenser back to the clamp. After all the nitric acid is dripped. This is our final yield of nitric acid. It's yellow in color. I poured the nitric acid into a measuring cylinder to calculate the volume. The volume came out to be 41 ml. This I am pouring some of my nitric acid onto some nitrile gloves. You can see it immediately sets onto fire. In the round bottom flask, we are left with a nice chunk of potassium bisulfate. I measured the density of my nitric acid by weighing its mass and then dividing it by volume. Usually a relative density bottle is used but I used a 25 ml volumetric flask. The density was found to be 1.46 at 30 degrees Celsius. I found a concentration density chart online and my concentration came around 85%. The two reasons that I think for the low percentage is 
that my sulfuric acid was only 92% concentrated. And second, I did not put a receiving adapter due to which it is possible that the drops of nitric acid would have absorbed some moisture from air. So this is I'm testing my fuming nitric acid with some copper metal. Initially some fumes start to coming out but the reaction stopped. This is due to the formation of an oxide layer on the surface of copper metal. This is called passivation. However on adding some amount of water the coating is destroyed and then copper reacts vigorously with nitric acid. 